Hey everyone, it's me, Tichelle Ferguson, and today I'm back with another video. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I got into the four schools that I applied to. So, as you can see by the title, I applied to University of Florida, University of Central Florida, University of South Florida, and Florida State University. I got into all four, and um, I enjoyed watching these videos when I was going through the college application process to kind of see and, you know, gauge myself like, oh, she did this and she got in or she did this and she didn't get in i kind of use it to kind of get a feel for where i'm at and where i need to be or where i you know need to do better in certain aspects of the college application process so i thought why not make a video about this so i first want to say that this what i'm about to discuss in this video my high school stats this is not some kind of foolproof way to get into these four schools you could do exactly what I did and apply in two years and still not get in. So it's not, I'm not doing this to say, oh, you do this and you'll get in. But it's just so you guys can get an idea. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I applied to these colleges starting early July and I ended early September. So from early July to early September was my college application filling out period. Um, the first high school stat that I want to go over is my GPA. Um, my GPA at the time that I applied to these schools was a 3.933 out of a 4.0. So I think that's the cumulative GPA um, and it was a 3.9333. My class ranking. So my class ranking was a four out of 774 so I was in the top 1% of my class so my classes I took three four regular classes I took culinary French 1 French 2 and P those are my four regular classes majority of my core classes were honors classes I took AP world AP psychology and 24 dual normal classes um i don't really want to go over every single class that i took throughout the four years in high school because i feel like it would bore you guys but if you're interested i will see if i can try and write it down in the description box if you know i'm allowed that many characters um so the next thing test scores so this part of it all was not my favorite at all um you know taking the sat and act was kind of stressful honestly but i did it i did the sat three times um my high score was a 1340 and i got that the last time i took the sat um the act i took two times and both times i got a 28 which super scored to a 30 and i I know UF doesn't look at ACT super scores, but I'm pretty sure that the other three schools that I applied to did look at the ACT super score. Um, extracurricular activities. So this part was also kind of stressful when I was going through the application process because I felt like I didn't have enough compared to what some of the students who got into the schools that I wanted to go to did. Like they were saying they did 50 clubs and they did these 50 clubs for 10 years and like they did a lot with these extracurricular activities. But I did, I just did five clubs. Um, one club was Medical Explorers Club. I did that for one year. HOSA, I did for two years. Interact Club, which is like a community service club. I did that for one year. Student Government, I did for one year. I was a secretary for the class of 2020. Um, and then Mu Alpha Theta. So that was a mathematical honor society. I really liked that club, actually. Um, but they didn't have a trigonometry team for when I was in 11th grade. So I ended up just, you know, I left the club. Um, with extracurricular activities, I did not not join a lot because I was lazy or whatever the case is but um it's just I, I didn't want to just join a lot of clubs because that's what college students who are or high school students who are applying to college do I wanted to join the club only if I was really like interested in it 
I joined Interact because I wanted to get service hours. I joined Smooth Alpha Theta because math is my favorite subject. HOSA because I'm interested in the health um, care field. So I really just joined clubs that I was actually interested in being a part of. So, um, community service. I did 250 hours. Um, I did at four places. I did community service at four places. Um, one place was a BPK. One place was a um, nonprofit organization named Happy Farm. Um, one place was a another nonprofit organization named In Jacob Shoes. And then I got the rest of my hours through Interact Club, which is the service club I was in. Okay, so now on to my essay. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and say that my essay was like, you know, some kind of award-winning, worthy essay. But I am so proud of it. I, I'm i not the best writer. I don't like essays and English and all these things. But, you know, after I did a rough draft, I sent it to one person and then I sent it to another person and then I um, worked on the rough draft with my aunts and I worked on the rough draft with a family friend and I worked on the rough draft with an English teacher. I really, you know, worked on it with different people and I was able to get their different opinions on my essay and kind of, you know, take from their opinion and take from their opinion and it all came together to be a, a essay that I really liked. I did it on my career goals and why I want to be an OBGYN in the future. Um, and I think it I think it really came out nice. I'm not gonna say that oh this was a killer essay that is the reason why I got into UF, but I think that it nudged me in the right direction. Um, it helped me instead of hurt me, um, definitely. So that is all the stuff that I put, you know, mainly on my application. Um, two look little extras is that I was a first generation student, so I wasn't a legacy student to any of the schools that I applied to. And I did put that I was getting my associate's degree on the application. So on all the applications, there was like a little box you could check. Um, so you would write in how many credits you have at the time that you're applying to the college and then you put a little check in the box if you're supposed to get your associate's degree before you um, enroll in their school. So yeah, just two tips I came up with while talking about this video. One, do not apply to 20 schools because everybody else is doing that or because, you know, for whatever reason. I personally think that if you're interested in going to five schools, apply to five schools because then you can really dial in and focus your attention on the school that you're really interested in going to and you can really make sure that all your, you know, all your stuff is together when it comes to applying to these five schools. Now if you apply to 20 schools and you only want to go to five schools, you know, your application for those five schools may not be as good as they could have been if you didn't do those extra 15 applications. Um, also, my other piece of advice is don't get too stressed. This college application process it was so stressful. It was not actually completing the application. It was just, it was a mental thing. It was like a, oh, am I going to get in here? What if I don't get in here? You know, I, I was doing a lot of back and forth thing in my head. And I think that at the end of the day, you get into the school that you're supposed to go to. You know what I'm saying? You everything happens for a reason so if you didn't get into whatever school you thought you should have gotten to you probably weren't ever meant to really go there if that makes any sense so don't get too distraught or stressed or whatever throughout this process because everything is going to line up the way that it's supposed to be at the end of the day um so that's it for you guys that those are my high school stats and um, I'm happy that I was able to share this video with you guys because I really, I really liked these videos. I'm telling you, like, I just, I lived off of these videos. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing my gator shirt. I applied to my four schools and I got in, but I officially committed to the University of Florida and I will be going there fall 
2020. So I am a baby gator and I'm really excited to see, you know, what you have passed to offer me and what I can take away from my experiences there. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about there and I just feel like that's that's just where I need to be right now. I feel like out of the four schools that I applied to, I weighed my the pros and cons. I looked at the the different aspects of all the colleges and I landed here. So I will be a Gator Fall 2020. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Um, and if you guys have any questions, like any you know more specific questions about any of the stats that I touched on or if you wanted to hear about another high school stat that I maybe missed out, um, then definitely please leave a comment um, and I will, I promise, I'll get back to you. And subscribe because I have more college related videos coming. Bye guys.